everybody, this is Praxis, and the Chicken Coop Foundation is finally starting to really look like a structure of some sort, which is really a nice feeling. Uh, you can see uh, the bottom section here, this is the uh, area that's going to be lower, and I'm starting to work on the stepped up section in the back. It's going around to that corner over there. Uh, yesterday, I was able to put in some of these anchor bolts. There's uh, one every, every few feet on here. As you're putting in the anchor bolts, it's good to kind of skip from one side to the other of the... Uh, of the wall as you go and what that does is it makes it so you're kind of holding down both the outside and the inside of the board as you're uh, going down. I'm about to start filling in this section right here with some uh, uh, concrete that I just uh, finished mixing up and I am going to be putting in a couple of anchor bolts. You'll notice on each anchor bolt what I do is I take a clothespin and I clip it so that the bottom edge of the clothespin uh, is going to be where it's going to rest in the concrete. I find this helps for a couple of things. One, it makes it really easy to just kind of register them as you put them in. I want it to be just about a quarter of an inch above where the threads start is, uh, you know, or below, uh, yeah, below, above where the threads start is where the um, uh, thing's going to be sunk into. And I can see that really easily here, but when I stick it in, it's a little bit harder to see. So one thing, it, it gives you a mark. It also gives you some stability as you put them in because you can, uh, you know, uh, you've got this nice straight line here and you can set that right down on top of the concrete. So uh, they don't like kind of sink, you know, sideways or whatever, or if they do kind of slant sideways, you can see it and correct it and make them straight. So I'm going to pop some concrete right in here. Uh, I think I'll, I'll start with this little section here. Uh, because of what I was mentioning yesterday about uh, the six inch wall, uh, you know, uh, giving you some issues with uh, some gaps here and there. I do have, you know, gaps as I go up. I'm just filling this one in. I got a piece of plexiglass out here and a little piece of plastic with some plywood, just holding it in place. Uh, it's not a big deal, but I do prefer the eight inch blocks because they don't lead to this kind of thing uh, because of the, uh, the fact that they are, uh, uh, their, ha their width is half of their length. So I think in the future, I'll probably just end up going with eight inch blocks just because of uh, that, that one uh, issue. I went with the six inches for this because it saved me a little bit of money. And I didn't think it was necessary to do eight inches, but they, they are a lot easier to work with in terms of interlocking. I'm putting this uh, stick down here to kind of agitate everything, uh, get it kind of uh, dancing down into all the cracks and crevices. It also helps to get it to really work its way into the concrete on the sides. So you're getting a good bond there, dragging these guys. And on the side, little stragglers there. All right, Ooh. got my my brace is just kind of held in with a rock on the outside. Okay, I can't I, I can't push it too much, or I'm going to dance my uh, my form right out of there. But that's fine. All right, so uh, smoothing it out, and then I'm going to put in that anchor bolt. And I wanted to show you guys kind of how I do that. Now uh, this is where the door is going to be. So I wanted to have one of my pins. Uh, well, the the piece of pressure treated wood is going to go down here going to extend all the way over to here so I got one pin for that and this is the last pin for this piece of pressure treated wood right here so it extends over here so one pin is on uh, is here on the outside so this pin I'm going to set kind of closer to the inside I don't want all the way on the inside because then it uh, wouldn't be central enough in the board and I'm just kind of see how I'm dancing this in the same way I did the, uh, uh, the stick there and it gives me a really good sense of what's vertical being able to rest that right on the top there and now I just kind of clean this up. Nice thing about the concrete is I'll be able to kind of pretty this up later as well. But for now, just kind of get it roughly looking nice. You know, I, I think I, I got a little too much concrete there. I'm going to scrape some out. Really easy to do this now. <laughs> really difficult to do it later on. So I want to get it right. All right. That feels pretty good. Looks nice and straight. Vertically, you don't want bumps around it. You want it to be pretty smooth because your board's going to go right across here and you don't want the board on top of bumps. Like I said, really easy to fix it now. Really difficult to do it later. All right, so I'm going to uh, start filling in the rest of these. Uh, you know, normally if I wasn't doing this for video, I would have kind of filled them all in and then did this so I'm not getting in the way of myself. I wanted to kind of demo the process for you guys right here. Uh, but uh, what I'm doing for today is I'm just going to kind of finish up, uh, you know, fill, infilling these guys with uh, the concrete with the crushed stone in it and uh, then tomorrow once this layer which I just set down is all set I'm going to be uh, going in and filling in all the, uh, the gaps between it with uh, mortar mix and then the day after that we go up another level in fact you know later today I might even be able to uh, infill all these cracks but uh, um, we'll, see. we'll see how I feel about it I'm getting pretty sick of concrete that's it thanks for watching